welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be kitting down two diamond paintings. I'm so behind on my kitting down that <laughs> I was like, okay, I have to actually do a kitting down this time. So I'm gonna be kitting down this diamond painting that I got from Sinor Direct. This was the flowers. And then this diamond painting I got from Hula Can and these this was the red doll. I'm kidding, I kit down mainly because like this one, I have to kit down because the storage is annoying me. Like there's nowhere to put this other than like on top of the table. I can't just like put it off to the side because there's no uh, covering to it. So, and in this one, it was just more like I just needed another square. So this was another square for me to do. So I, I tend to kit down two at a time. I find it's more efficient that way. So yeah, so here's 152. I actually have two shades of this already and I do shade match. And, of course, it does not match. No, it matches. No, it doesn't match either of them. Why? Why is it like this? Why do they do this to me? Okay. I'm probably going to put it into the, into the bag and it's going to match one of them because I feel like sometimes the clear plastic does change the hue a little. Yeah, no, see, it doesn't match them. This is why... I separate out my rounds and my squares just because I was end up having like several bags of the the oh wait this one's a 150 I ended up having several bags of every DMC because they don't match things they don't match each other so wait I I've skipped 150 so I have okay I only have I must have had an uh, original bag that I must have taken out for the heaven and earth designs and um, this one matches what's currently in there, so just gonna keep the two bags because you've seen I already had like one where it wasn't matching. Okay, I need a thing to put my label on. Okay, so 154 is very dark red. Okay, uh, I actually have a lot of this one left. Uh, it matches the first one. I actually noticed that I, mi I might have already mixed in some things into this one. Um, and looking at it, I kind of feel like I, I need to... No, I can tell the difference. Okay, I'm just going to leave it that way. <laughs> ah. It does get... Um, kidding down does take a little longer if you shade match. I think... I think I might be a little less more lenient now like if they're close enough I'm just gonna mix them because I can't have like five bags of the same color now but if they're like BAM I am so different they're getting they're getting into separate bags so let's see 168 is I found I can't really talk while doing the kidding down. There's just too many, like, oops, I put 169 in where it's 168. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I can't talk while doing the kidding downs just because it takes a little bit more brain power. See, these are all three completely different. Yeah, no, it's this one. All right. Why? Okay, no, it looks like this second one more. Yeah, now that it's in there, it looks like that one. Okay. Now I found I can't I can't really talk about things while kidding down. It just takes a little kidding down takes a little bit more brain power um, than I apparently can do. While I could multitask, I guess relatively well. I don't know. Okay, so this one I actually don't have any, except for the one I got from Art Dot. So. 221, first time in here. Okay. But yeah, no, I can't I can't multitask apparently as much as I think I can. 225 is shell pink. I only have one bag, so let's hope it matches. Yeah, that looks okay. Okay. 
I have seen people just mix them together. I, I can't do it. Especially if they're so different from each other, I just can't do it. <laughs> I don't care if it and I end up having so many bags, but if they're super different, there's no there's no mixing them. Okay, so 310. I'm not I'm, I don't shade match 310 because it's just black. I have noticed that some <clears throat> some blacks are a little bit more shiny black while others are a little bit like dull black but unless you're really looking at it you can't tell with the black so that's just getting put in there i actually have three more of these bigger bags of black i just put them somewhere else just because i was just taking up so much space so 315 okay i have only one bag of that so let's hope it matches yeah, I think it does. Yeah, it does. I was kind of like, yeah, no, I'm just saying it's it's really hard sometimes to match these. And then once you, once I, if if I do put it in and it doesn't match, I'm not taking it out. That is, that's in there. But but I think if I have to second guess whether it matches, it's a close enough match. So yeah, no, this one looks fine. <clears throat> It almost makes me just want to get diamond paintings from one place because they'll probably end up the same um, shade, but that's not actually always true. I have like kitted down two diamond paintings from the same place at at the same time, and it was not they did not match. So this one is steel gray light. Uh, I have a lot of it, and this one looks like it matches okay enough. Yep. There is actually a lot of different grays, so... Man, I actually have a lot of this one. Um, I feel like I need to go do like a black and white picture or something. Let me take the label off. So, 321 is red. So this is what they consider red. Ooh, this one's like really bright. Why is it sticky? and completely does not match. Okay, just making sure it, it does say 321. <laughs> it's like super, super bright compared. I don't know if you could tell from camera, like that's a darker red and that's like a brighter red. <clears throat> okay, 321 is red. Okay. 415. Ooh, there's two 415s. Are they gonna match? I'm gonna get a second tray because I don't ever trust them matching. So that's 415 and this one's 415. And do they match the bag of 415? Okay, I currently have two bags of 415. Looking at them, they actually don't look that different. So I'm Yeah, no, these are the same. I was like gonna pour a little bit in there. Yeah, I think these two bags of 415 are the same. So I think I'm gonna just mix everything. Um, but I'm gonna keep the label on the separate bag just because it looks like I already have a lot of this 415. So I can see myself going into a second bag. So I'll just take the label off of this one and then use the other bag for a future one. Okay, just squish. Yeah, no, I have a lot of this 415. Okay. Pearl gray. Oh, these are the next two are 451 also. Okay. 451 and 451. Let's see. Am I still on this first box? Yeah. 451 is shell gray. I actually only have one bag of them. Okay, no, this. No. 
They look different. Okay. No, they don't. Okay, I'm just mixing them. They, they look the same enough. I can tell a tiny difference, but it's not enough for me to, to separate them. And then when I pour them in here, they don't actually look that different. But there was a tiny, tiny difference. But not enough for it to be a new bag. Okay, so 524 is fern green. I apparently must have had some 524 from something else because I have two bags in there. And it must have been from, I must have, it must be in my Heaven and Earth designs. Yeah, no, that looks the same. Yeah. Just making a second look. Okay, it's slightly off, but it's too late now. It's in there. Okay, just gonna put that bag back. Okay, so next one is in the next box, so box two. Okay. 640. Six forty is beaver. I mean beige gray. I can't read apparently. I saw I saw be beige and I, I saw beaver. Man. <laughs> okay, it does not match the first one. It doesn't match the second one either. So it's getting its own bag. Yeah, no, it does not match. Just making sure. While I'm still here and I could change my mind. Okay, so three bags for beaver gray or beige gray. Man, why was I thinking beaver? Maybe I wanted it to be beaver gray. I'll say, see, the next colors are beaver gray. That's why I was thinking beaver gray. Um, so 647 is beaver gray medium. They look really green, they don't look gray to me. Okay, this does not match any of these at all. It's really, really different. <laughs> so it's going in a third bag now. Okay, you know, just for, you know, when something runs out, I need my shade matching. Like, even if you, like, if let's say you run out from some place and then you go buy drills from somewhere, they might, the shades might not match, so it does get kind of annoying, but I'd rather have them in separate bags, so then if I do need to use them, they'll be, like, I don't know if you can tell how different these two look. Um, so, I don't know if I should move the camera down so you can see better. Oh, wow, this is like a completely different third shade. Okay. So what is this color? Beaver gray light. So the beavers, yeah, no, that's a really different shade. The beavers are a different shade. <laughs> okay. The one good thing is I'm able to apparently take off some of these labels sometimes. If not, I do have plenty of labels. I can make it up myself. I'm just lazy. I'd rather just use the label that's already there. Okay, so 666, I do have two bags. One is a little bit brighter than the other. Okay, this matches the brighter one. I'm glad I, just ha I didn't have to go third bag since there was not much in the other one. Yeah, no, that matches. Yay! Okay, right, so 666 is red bright. I actually don't have that much 666. That's why I, when I was looking for like ABs to buy in squares, I didn't buy 666 because I was looking at my spares and I was like, okay, I barely have 666. So I'm guessing I don't get it in that many diamond paintings. People just like it because, you know, it's probably just the, the number. It's, it's an entertaining sounding number, right? So pearl gray, very light. Okay. This one does not match number one, number two, but does it match number one? Mm, yeah. Because number two is much darker. Okay. I'm happy enough with that. 
I do kind of see two shades in there. But it's light enough that I think it will be fine. 762 is pearl gray. So what am I? 819 or this one's 779. 779 is brown. I don't have any, which makes the shade matching so much easier. Let's see. Because I don't have to shade match. Okay. So this is what wins as brown. Okay, so even though I've been diamond painting more than a year, and I think I actually diamond paint a lot, I still have a lot of colors I don't have. If you don't count the diamond paintings um, drills that I got from Art Dot. Yeah, it looks like a different shade. I'm going to pour it into the bag. It might be not a different shade. It just looks pretty different on... Mm, I'm going to mix them. They actually don't look that different now that they're in the plastic bag. <laughs> I think there's just that, like, the plastic black bag glare, if the plastic bag is not completely clear. Watch, I pour it in here and be like, yep, it's a little different. But it was close enough that I'm happy. Okay, you know, I am I'm very happy with that. It looks very, very similar. Okay, right, so 814 is Garnet. Garnet the Dark. Okay, next one, 819. Maybe I should check to see if there's anything in there before I pour it out. Nope, I have stuff. 819 is baby pink light. And yeah, no, that looks different. The other, this one looks more pink. This one looks more not so pink. It looks more beige. Yeah, no, they're, they look different. So 819. Take this label off here. Okay, next box is 820s. Okay, so what am I on? Uh, which one's next? So this one is 902, so this one's first. Still have my two trays here in case I have... Okay, so this, one, this box is very empty still because I haven't put away my art dot drills yet, but just from box number one and two, I can tell that they're going to add so much excess. Yeah, no, that matches enough. They're going to add so much that I'm pondering my original plan of putting my rhinestones in here. I might just do it anyway, and then after it gets full, I'll rearrange again. I don't know. Um, until I have a better system. But we'll see. I still haven't put away my rhinestones and stuff. I actually have a couple rhinestone kits that I have not kitted down yet just because I was still trying to figure out my what I'm how I'm going to arrange them just because I just didn't want to arrange it and then arrange again. Okay, so this actually looks different. So this says avocado green black. So this these ones actually look a little bit more black while this one actually looks a little bit more green. So yeah. I'll, I don't know. If I end up having a third box, I mean a third bag, I might be like, okay, no, those look similar enough, but I can tell the difference. Okay. So where are we? 936 is avocado green, very dark. What was the other one? Oh, the avocado green black. Okay. You know, that looks the same. <clears throat> the one good thing is I have, I've had enough of the bags and stuff like that, that I already have bags for everything. And then I, I apparently have accumulated enough bags that I have plenty of extra bags. Like you don't see it on the side, but I do have a lot of bags here. And I even have some of the bigger bags because I, my main bag is usually the bigger bag, and then my second bag is usually the smaller bag. But if there's a one that like is very full for two bags, I'll put it into the 
I'll go get a bigger bag. So here's 950. Ooh, there's two 950s. Okay. Okay, I could tell they're different 950s. Um, this one looks like this one. Yeah, I'm happy with that. This one does not look like either of them. Okay, so another bag. Yeah, no, they look different. This, yeah, they just look different. Desert sand light. Okay, nine sixty three. Yeah, so this one is so empty. This box. Okay, I have two bags of nine sixty three. Oh, I can see why. I don't know if you can tell. This one is so much brighter pink. Okay, this doesn't look like any of them. It's gonna be another bag. Like, I can see it right away. I didn't even have to compare. Which is kind of good, because then I don't have to do my second guessing, but it's also like, I'm already on the third bag of Dusty Rose Ultra Very Light. <laughs> so, let's see. 30, 31. Uh, am I still on this box? Yeah. Okay, 30, 31. Let's see, it's so empty that they're just kind of... Okay, 30, 31 is Mocha Brown Very Dark. Yeah. I, I can tell sometimes in these really dark ones, it doesn't actually make much of a difference. The shading. It's the light colors that the shading could make a really big difference. As long as it's not going to be a color blocking section 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 um like variations in shades actually don't matter so much in a confetti heavy design painting okay it does not match doesn't match the second one but it matches the there's already i could already tell there's two shades in there and it matched one of them so that's good enough for me <laughs> antique violet medium so 30 41 3042 is the next one. Antique Violet Light. Okay, I have two bags of these. Yeah, I can tell why I have two. Okay, it matches the second one. Antique Violet Light. Okay. Why can't I take the label off? Okay. I think I need a sip of water. Water break. Okay, I'm like almost done with the other one, but this one I still have like half of it left. So there's a lot of high <clears throat> 3000 DMCs. Oops. 3052. No, 30. Where am I? 3072. Ooh, I don't have any, so there is no color matching this one. Beaver gray. I feel like we already seen the beaver grays. But 3072's Beaver Gray, very light. Okay, 30. So am I, okay, I'm still in this box. 3354 is Dusty Rose. Okay, I don't have any of this one either. Put that in there. Okay. 33. I figure, okay, so I'm just kidding down. I've had people ask me where I got my bags. All of my bags are from diamond painting kits. I do keep them like like this. This was probably from a hula can diamond painting. So I do keep all my bags. I have actually not bought any. So, <laughs> and these bags, okay, so these bigger bags I think are six by eight centimeters while um, yeah while the smaller bags are like two by three inches or a little bit less than that um and i i just use the smaller bags just because i didn't have enough of the bigger bags um <clears throat> 
although I have recently gained more of the bigger bags. Um, but I think I'm going to use those for when I start putting away my rhinestones so that at least I'll have the first bag be the bigger bag and then just the second any shade differences will be this next, the smaller bag. <clears throat> And that's mainly because I have more smaller bags than the bigger bags. Or I might just seem like I have more of the smaller bags just because I've been using the big bags for for the for this de-kitting. So what am I on? Three, six, eight, five. <clears throat> and if you want any of my label templates, I should leave a link below. If not, remind me or go look up one of my other Monday videos. I probably have it in there in case I forget to to add the link to my Google Drive that has my label templates. And I, I from what it seems like, people seem to be able to use them, so I'm glad. <clears throat> I'll probably still put in my disclaimer about if it doesn't print perfectly for you, don't. <laughs> But yeah, no. Okay, that's different. <clears throat> but yeah, no, I got my labels from cross-stitch websites and where they have DMC numbers and then the name of the color. I just like knowing the name of the color. I don't know why. It, it entertains me. Um, 3705. Melon Dark. <clears throat> that matches <clears throat> so yeah see this is why I can't talk and do this at the same time it takes more t more me looking at this stuff okay three seven two one is shell pink dark okay I only have one bag so hopefully it matches it doesn't look like it matches so let's put in a bag and then if I, yeah, see, it matches after I put in the bag. Must just be the effect. Yeah, the clear plastic effect. Three, seven, two, one. What am I on? Oh, okay. Ooh, I have two, three, seven, two, sixes. Okay. So my double train, so 3726, and this one is 3726 also. And they look like different shades from each other. I can see that right away. 3726 is Antique Mauve. Dark. I only have one bag of them, so... See, now that I'm trying to compare it to what's in the bag, now this this one matches the one in there more. Once now that I'm comparing it to the one in the bag, I can't even compare which one will match more. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, and then since I already saw outside of the bag that the other one was a different shade, it's just gonna go to no bag. See, they're close enough that I kind of no, I'll just leave it. They're close enough that I kind of want to to mix them, but. I could see the difference enough that I kind of don't want to mix them, <laughs> like, if that even makes any sort of sense. Oh, I have a label stuck on me here. Okay. So the next one is 3727, which is Antique Mob Light. And I actually have them in both of them too, so there's one. And they look different from, from pouring it. No, so this one matches what I currently have, and then the other one will be in its own bag. I'm kind of glad I, I <clears throat> separate out my rounds and my squares. It does make finding getting it from my storage easier because then I'm not trying to figure out which one I'm getting. I'm just directly getting it. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> okay. 3731. 
is dusty rose very dark okay i only have one bag of this okay <clears throat> the trays are kind of making it fall down 3731 is dusty rose very dark i must not get this one much because i don't and i could see already that they're a completely different shade without making much effort Oh, this bag's a little dirty, but eh, I don't care. Okay. <clears throat> well, that was me, because I, I do marker on the other color just so that I don't get mixed up, so I must have put a bag on top of it without letting it dry. <laughs> so, that's the last of that box, so now I'm on the fourth box, which is also going to be very empty because I still haven't put away my art dot um, drills in here, so... 3740 is Antique Violet Dark. Okay, I don't have another bag and it matches, so yay! <clears throat> yep. I'm actually not surprised I have a match with my... Um, Hua Can Diamond Paintings, I think I've done a lot from Hua Can and their sister store. So these both have 3743. So I can tell the difference. They're not that they're not that different, but I can tell the difference. Okay. They're not that Yeah, I'm I'm happy enough to mix them. There's just a slight light variation like it's not a different shade it's more just a different lightness like if it was just like a tiny bit lighter as opposed to like a completely different color i don't know if that makes sense that yeah no i'm happy with mixing them okay so this first bag is actually pretty full already so maybe i'll move this into the bigger i have a couple bigger bags and i figure they're bigger as in they're taller. I figure when a, a, a bag gets really full, I'll switch the, I'll move it to the bigger bag. And this one's actually pretty full, so I'm gonna move it over. I don't know if it would be easier for me to just pour directly into there or... Okay, that's not bad. Actually, the piece of paper in there is actually helping funnel it. And then I'll just put the rest on the tray so that I don't have to shake the bag. Okay, so I must get a lot of this antique violet, very light. Um, so now I put it in the bigger bag here, so now I have a little bit more space. Because see, the thing with this um, photo box system is most of these bags are too short and the photo box is like four inches tall. Like, like I think you're actually more, you would be better off with these bigger, taller bags. I don't know what size this is. What size is this? Is this... It's 6 by 9, or if they do it all the way to the top, it's 6 by 10. So this is probably like a better bag for this um, system here, just because then you're not wasting all the top space, because there's so much space at the top that doesn't get utilized because the bag only goes up to like 3 inches or something. So. If I were to go buy bags, which I don't see myself doing just because I have so many bags, apparently, from just the sheer amount of diamond paintings I've kitted up, <laughs> that I haven't had to buy any. So, 3756. Let's see. Oop, I have a rogue drill there. I don't know where it's from. I'm not going to make an effort to figure out what's... Okay, so 3756 is baby blue. See, I'm already on the big bag for this one. Yeah, no, that matches. So I might need a second big bag <laughs> at some point. But yeah, look at how many drills I have, apparently, of baby blue. And at least it seems like they... The baby blues are matching. Okay, so what am I on? 3803. This one's 3787. 
Yeah, though this box is so empty. It's just remarkable how much those... I don't have any of this. I didn't have to pour it in my tray because there's no color matching, but I find it's easy to pour, um, pour it into the baggie with the tray. Okay, so 3799 is pewter gray dark. Very dark. Okay, that looks good. Three seven nine nine. Okay, so what am I on? Three eight zero oh, one is melon. Oh, I have two bags. Melon, very dark. Yep, it matches this one. This one doesn't have an insert, but I'm too lazy to go put one in. <laughs> okay, so three eight zero oh, one is melon. So in case people wonder, um, the insert, I, I used to use cardstock for it, and then I still do have some with cardstock because I'm too lazy to take out what's currently in there, but I have found just using regular paper, I found that better than using the cardstock just because, I don't know, I found the cardstock just too hard, and I could fit more in if I just used the regular paper, and the regular paper was enough to hold it up. <clears throat> So this is just like printer paper. But I will keep the ones with the cardstock in there since I had already cut them. Um, 3859. But I did take out all the cardstock from the from the bigger bags. And but I've been cutting them smaller for the smaller bags. 3859. Where is 3859? Oh wait, I missed. 3836. Okay. I guess I could have done 3859, but I noticed it, they both actually have 3859. So 3836 is Grape Light. Nope. Completely different. So yeah, the inserts in these is just um, the index cards that I cut up into smaller pieces. And I didn't even really measure them, I just kind of cut them. Okay. And that's only just so that it'll keep the shape and it won't just like swoop down when you're putting it into here. Okay, so I have 3859 for both of them. They look really, really, really different from each other. Like I could see it right away. 3859, I don't actually have any. Who's gonna win in which one goes in which? I'm just going to put this one in there. And then this other one. Let's see. 3860. Okay. Okay. 3860 is Coco. Oh, I have two bags of cocoa. They're actually relatively full bags. Okay. It matches the second one. Oops. I should have closed it before I did the... Okay, now the 38... Oops, I forgot to take my label off of that one. So 3861, I actually have on two of them. There's actually a good amount that were in both of them. Okay, they look completely different too. Of course. How much could actually match? Okay, I have two bags for this. Am I on 3861? Okay, none of these look remotely like what's in here. Am I gonna have like four bags for this? Okay, just making sure I'm on 3861. Yeah, oh, okay. I guess I might have four bags for this. Yes, I know the label isn't straight. Okay, I don't really care. Okay, so another bag. Yay! 
Yeah, see, it doesn't look anything like the other two. I'm almost thinking it's like not the right color, but I went and checked the label. So the camera cut off at some point. I don't know when, but but yeah, I'll ponder whether to add this to the end, but I'm done kidding this up. Um, and well, stay tuned for another video next week. I don't know what I'll be doing next week for Monday, but it'll be something that is using these boxes. But all right, um, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.